The next piece I'll be talking about is Matthias Church and the location of work is Budapest, Hungary on the Buddha side. Um, the artist responsible for the work is, well, the first phase was under, which is in like 1200, the first phase was, was really long time ago, was by Villard de Honecourt, who was French. And then, but most most of what's visible today and like the guy that's kind of accredited with reviving the church is Frig, I, I can't speak Hungarian, but it's like Frigus Shuklek, <laughs> who's Hungarian from Budapest. And the meaning of work is it's architecture and it's mostly made out of stone, but the roof that's really elaborate is made out of tiling. Um, the period of work, it's gothic style from the Middle Ages. The historical relevance of the work is that according to tradition, the first church on the site was founded by St. Stephen, which I just did a video about, um, King of Hungary in 1015. Since the 19th century, the church has been referred to as Matthias Church after King Matthias, who was wildly popular and widely considered the greatest king in Hungarian history. How long it took to create, it was possibly first established in 1015, like I just mentioned. And the first documented construction, though, was in the mid-13th century. Reconstruction and renovation has been consistent in nearly every century since, with a break during the war for obvious reasons. Um, <laughs> this was important because it was the venue for a lot of royal weddings and coronation ceremonies. And there, it was the location of the... Marian miracle of Buddha which was during like the Ottoman times and according to like local myth and tradition it's like what kind of scared them away um and it's today it's very iconic part of Budapest and greater Hungary it's very common like destination to go and like view the city to find characters of this work I'm only going to talk about the exterior because I don't have so much time in one video and also I didn't get to go inside but it's a very ornate gothic style. It has this 60 meter high bell tower and tile roof with King Matthias's family pattern, which is also seen on his father's church just down the road. There's also two ravens on either side, one with a wedding ring with its mouth from a story about his family and a part of his family's crest. The historical contributions of the artist cannot be, well, it, it, the church cannot be entirely attributed to Schellig. But he's also really famous for the pulpit that he designed inside the church, which, like I said, I wasn't able to see for myself, so I can't really speak that much on it. But he was also a professor at a couple of different universities in Budapest, and he was very inspired by Gothic art, and he really helped revive a lot of the churches in the Buddha area. My personal observation was that it was kind of like solid, it kind of was like an area of solitude from the rest of the city. Not just like Pest, where the tourist stuff is, it's just like the walls and the fisherman's bastion and everything around it made it feel like a lot more secluded than it really was. Which I don't know if it was like that when it was actually like, it's still a functioning church, you know what I mean? Like a really important, like functioning church. I don't know if that was on purpose, if I'm just tripping. Um, why did I choose this work? My friend really wanted to show my mom and I because it's really pretty and it has a really great view of the city. And then she was telling me that's actually really historically important. I was like, oh should probably talk about this um how does it compare to other works within the period the roof is really unique like i personally never seen anything like that at all especially not with that much significance like it's not like just to look pretty it, like actually has a purpose behind it but it actually is besides that it's like pretty much in the style and it's also like frequently compared to other sculptures but not sculptures structures during the gothic period such as the notre dame um, fun fact is that I was converted to a mosque during the Turkish, inv Turkish invasion of Hungary in the 16th century after the Ottoman Empire's conquest of Buddha.